So obtaining data really just means getting your little hands on some data that you can work with. And you might do that by scraping something off the web. Someone might give you a data set. Um, in some fields, uh, you know, the data set comes for free. In others, you have to do quite a lot of work to get it. Uh, but that's just making sure you have the data you need and you have it stored somewhere. So scrubbing data is actually where most people spend about 80% of their time working with data. And what that means is taking the data you got in step one and cleaning it up such that you understand what's in it and can work with it rigorously. And that may mean things like if you're downloading web pages, editing out all the advertisements so they don't corrupt uh, your analysis of the content of those pages. Or it might mean finding uh, data from a sensor that was totally an outlier and, and indicated a malfunction in the sensor and not some meaningful data. Um, and there are tools for making this easier. There are things like Google Refine that let you combine multiple data sets. Um, and if, even if your columns don't completely match up, it does sort of a fuzzy matching and helps you go through this process of scrubbing your data. Um, you can also do a lot of it programmatically. So exploring your data is by far the most fun. Um, that's where you look for the answers to your questions. Uh, I often say that my job is actually not doing analysis. It's asking the right questions. And so that's when you get to uh, sit around, play with the data, and say, ooh, you know, can I figure this out from what I have here? So once you've explored the data and you know uh, what answers you're looking for, uh, building the model is how you do it rigorously. And so maybe you have a data, that let, a data set that lets you determine the difference between uh, malicious content on the web and non-malicious content. And this is a problem we do work on here at Bitly. Uh, so building the model would be training the classifier to be able to take new data items and assign them to that malicious or non-malicious category. We already know what the question is. We know the shape of the answer. You just have to do it such that it works in a rigorous way. Uh, once we finish modeling, we interpret. Um, and that one's a little ambiguous. It might mean making a really beautiful visualization so you can communicate whatever it is you learned more effectively. Uh, or it might mean just having some tests. So uh, whenever we do an analysis project here, we always ask the question, how do you know when you've won? Uh, and interpreting is figuring out when you've won.